Hey, welcome back to our channel Paradise Catchers. October, November is the time in Mexico when the whole country immerses itself for the celebration of one of their grandest festivals, Dia de Muertos or Day of the Dead. This year we were there in Mexico City to see all the celebrations firsthand. The parades in the Mexico City, the ofrendas and also some of the intimate celebrations at the cemetery. Hola, Hola. Namaste. namaste. This is Pubali. This is Sindranil and we are Paradise Catchers. We are an Indian couple living in Costa Rica and we bring to you stories about traveling and digital nomad life in Latin America. We spent the first part of October in Kolkata, our hometown in India. We were celebrating Durga Puja, our grandest festival. It is also a UNESCO cultural heritage festival. Then from there, we flew to another country to celebrate another UNESCO Cultural Heritage Festival, Dia de los Muertos or Day of the Dead in Mexico. It was a long journey. For about 34-35 hours, we flew from Kolkata to Doha, Doha to Houston. And then from Houston to Mexico City. As we arrived, we saw that the city was already gearing up for one of their biggest festivals. There were decorations all over the city. The first parade was on 22nd of October, Alebrijes Parade. The parade started from Zocalo and continued till Angel de la Independencia. We are at the Alebrijes Parade now. Uh, this is the unofficial beginning of the Dia de Muertos uh, parades and uh, festivities. Now, the Alabrijes are giant fantastic creatures created using folk art of Mexico and it's inspired by different creatures from folk tales all around the world. It sounds like Harry Potter, right? <laughs> but it's from the Mexico folk art and how it started all in 1930s with uh, Pedro Linares. Uh, starting to create this alebri has been. Pedro Linares was an artist. Hearsay is one time he fell sick and during that time he visualized some imaginary creatures or characters which also came with the name of Alebrijes and he thought why not incorporate these imaginations in his work of art and that is how the Alebrijes started. You can see the people have already started dressing up the traditional clothes of Dia de Muertos. We are just watching the parade and you can see that thousands of people have gathered on both sides of the street uh, to view the uh, local artists and the dancers and the musicians uh, walk through the parade. The fantastic creatures of the Alebrijes parade were created using inspiration drawn from all over the world. There were animals of course from Mexico and is there an elephant? Maybe an inspiration from Asia or Africa? We enjoyed the sights of the animals. We continued to walk along with the parade. We were headed towards the Angel de la Independencia, where the creatures would be installed for the rest of the days until the final day of the Adem Los Muertos. The atmosphere at the parade was festive and colorful. There were street vendors selling different things like candies, toys, and of course, when you are in Mexico, you have to sell street food. Artists have turned uh, simple animals and, and have mixed them up with colors and designs uh, to create all these alebrijes. As it started with the imagination, now they just use that imagination to just think of any animals that uh, they can and just mix up even common animals and create uh, something fantastic. We are now almost towards the end of the parade, the parade of the Alebrijes. Uh, now these fantastic beasts, the fantastic animals are getting parked where they will remain parked 
for the rest of the duration of this festival. So during the parade, different groups of artists presented their alebrijes. If you look closely, you will notice that some of these designs are quite elaborate. With intricate patterns and use of vivid colors. Today we are going for another parade for the Dia de los Muertos festival or the celebrations that is the parade of Las Catrinas. So I'm going to tell you two stories today about this parade. One about the Aztec gods and afterlife and another one about a Mexican artist. The Mesoamericans believed that death is something that is to be celebrated, not feared. In fact, when someone dies, they follow a journey of nine phases to reach the center of the Aztec underworld. I cannot pronounce the name correctly, so I'm going to put it here. So this is associated with the goddess of death. Now the other story, which is about a Mexican artist. In the year 1910, it was Jose Guadalupe Posada who first gave face to La Catrina. But at that time, this painting, or it was a caricature, it was a satirical representation of the inequalities in society. Now in the modern day celebration of Dia de los Muertos, these two stories have come together. La Catrina is now the emblem or the symbol of the celebrations for Day of the Dead. Because whoever you are, wherever you are in society, ultimately we become skulls or we follow the cycle of life of which death is an integral part. Hence, we commemorate the dead. We do not fear the dead. We have now reached the Angel de la Independencia. As you can see, lots of people have gathered around for the starting of their parade. Well, people are ready to start the parade. And you can see that uh, all the makeup artists have done a great job and people are in uh, colorful dresses and makeup. <laughs> Just 15 minutes more to go. We walked ahead of the parade and now waiting uh, in front of the Palacio de Villas Artes. Lots of people still waiting in anticipation of the parade to pass this place. On our walk from Angel de la Independencia to Zocalo, we found a spot near Palacio de Villas Artes. We waited there and watched the entire parade pass by. First came the vintage cars. Then the healthcare professionals or the first line of responders during the last two years, the pandemic. Then there were different groups of Katrins and Katrinas. They were all decked up in different styles of hair, makeup, costumes, colors and skull designs. Some groups represented a specific geography from the country of Mexico or there were other groups representing a specific profession type. There were also groups who were showcasing their dance and music. Also, there were some impressively odd costume designs, like balloons on costumes, yes.
What we like the best about this parade is it's so inclusive. There were representations from different walks of life, whether it's a representation of ethnic diversity or gender diversity or uh, people with special needs. There was even a small section where uh, people were walking with their pets. Now we are at Zocalo, which is the end of the parade. Uh, it was an amazing four or five hours spent. We started from Angel de la Independencia and uh, the parade ended at this point, Zocalo, which is around uh, three, three and a half kilometers distance. Like thousands of people, today we have gathered here for celebrating the main parade of Dia de los Muertos or Day of the Dead here in Mexico City. For the Day of the Dead festival, I wanted to get a hairband like this one. Actually, on this Day of the Dead parade, we wanted to get our faces painted like many others were getting theirs done. But there wasn't much time because so we just wanted to find a good spot so that we can start watching the parade. Interestingly, this elaborate huge Day of the Dead parade in Mexico City did not exist before the year 2016. In fact, there's a James Bond movie called Spectre which inspired this parade because uh, a similar parade was shown in that movie and then the government of Mexico thought that why not do this in real and since then it became a huge part of the celebrations in Mexico City for Dia de los Muertos. We are now walking towards Zocalo because this parade, the Day of the Dead parade is supposed to end in Zocalo with a spectacular show. We are, we are walking ahead of the parade so that we can find a good spot in Zocalo with a good view. But don't know if we will be able to find a spot with a good view or not because it's massively crowded and everyone is headed towards that place. Remember to like, share and subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon.